All right, this should be the third and final video uh, to cover the uh, first tutorial. So we left off uh, talking about uh, texturing, and then I briefly stated, uh, you know, in order to be a terrain artist, you'll have to be comfortable with all the areas of modding, which is uh, pretty much the case. Um, if you're working with a team, obviously you can compartmentalize, but uh, you you know you still need to be able to uh, work with pretty much everything to some degree. Um, and so we'll come into the final uh, area here, uh, part four of the tutorial, uh, talking about researching and planning, which uh, is obviously a pretty important step to take. Uh, also, uh, be careful. Do not adjust your mics according to this mic volume, as the mic volume in the video is much louder. You know, this is very important, but, you know, and seemingly obvious, but you have to research and plan. Uh, there is just really an astounding amount of content that's been produced by the community over the years and uh, you know even more so an astounding amount of third-party documentation um, you know when you're frustrated that you, you think it isn't there I really suggest that you you do a couple of you know uh, better Google searches and see uh, if you can't find out that it hasn't been documented by someone else because in most cases it has been um, then uh, you know make sure that you plan your add-ons uh, you know because a lot of the times you know we you, you have this idea and you don't ever really look uh, look around and you, you end up spending months developing something that's been out and accessible and usable and maybe even open source and looking for help you know so I mean uh, too often you see a couple of people working on the same thing towards the same end you know but in never you know never uh co-working you know working together in order to to get it done faster or or um in a more efficient manner so you know always look around and 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 see if you can maybe offer help to someone uh who is working on something similar or uh you know you just generally don't want to unless you feel like you're really going to be offering a lot of value added to something that's already existing then you know chances are it's best just to leave uh you know leave um areas that have been covered uh as they were or to offer help towards you know towards that group that's already working on it um and then uh another good tip is uh you know have a look at the way it's done in game you know uh spend some time thinking about an example uh that's similar to what you want to accomplish that's done by bohemia and have a look in the game uh you know as to how they accomplish that and uh you'll you'll usually end up seeing exactly what they've done and it'll become pretty clear uh you know uh, th that there's a pretty simple or or uh, intuitive way to go about it uh, or maybe a, a way that you might not have seen but uh, is is definitely a, uh, a you know it's obviously a, an accomplishable uh, route so uh, that's pretty much it for the f and for the first uh, just the general introduction uh, so that should give you a basic idea of the uh, you know the developing environment the different focuses um, the tools you need uh, some of the external tools you need and just uh, some general guidelines and down here at the bottom I've got uh, some uh, some links to some you know the official resources you know you've got the BI forums which you know hopefully that's pretty obvious uh, you know. Um, there's the wiki uh, or Biki in this, you know, in Bohemia's case, uh, which is, uh, I mean, there's genuinely there is a lot of information and they're updating it regularly, uh, especially with the uh, Arma 3 now. I think they've really got uh, a lot of people adding to it, and I think that it's getting updated pretty regularly. Um, you know, I've uh, I've caught myself making fun of them for not having information up there, and then looked and see it had been updated like six months earlier. So, don't be uh, pessimistic. The licenses, which are obviously very important, um, uh, you know, and there's a little flow chart that tells you which license to use and everything like that. Um, you know, there's the Arma public license. Um, there's the well, there's the EULA. There's the tools user uh, license agreement. There's the user license agreement. There's the um, uh, Arma public license and then the Ar Arma public license share alike and then the DayZ mod license. I mean basically th these two are essentially the same thing. They just, you know, he says don't use it in anything but Arma games 
and uh, this one says you know share your work but you don't have to share source this one says uh, the DayZ mod license is just you can only use it in Arma 2 then you've got your public data files uh, which you know again there's just a huge repository of, uh, of data it's the public data files they're sorted into data packages actually I'm gonna cover this in a future one so I'm not really gonna go over this too much but I mean you know that's the link um, Arma 3 sample data that gets downloaded automatically when you install the tools via Steam. I'll cover that in another video. Uh, Dev Heaven modding Bible. You should really. That's a great resource. It's got so much uh, information and links and whatnot. Um, PMC Tactical. As I said, if you're looking for information that you don't think exists, look here. It probably exists. It, it almost definitely exists. So there's hardly anything that you need to know how to do in Arma that isn't uh, included on that web page somewhere um, also a little bit tricky to search um, but you know sometimes what I you know one of the best ones I do uh, this is maybe one of the best tricks there is take that and you search uh, chattering glass site colon nope that didn't work Oh, so look at that. You do you narrow it down, you just put glass site colon and then the name of uh the PMC tactical uh page and you know here you got reflective glass, glass tutorial, glass damage tutorial, uh armor modeling. I mean it's this is the that site has the detailed unbelievably qualified uh experts walking you through you know very very good tutorials um, if you need to know how to do something in Arma really really look at PMC and and also consider looking at their donation page um, so yeah I mean that pretty much covers it um, uh, I'll be recording uh, some modeling tutorials and properly configuring objects and building buildings for uh, in oxygen for Arma 2 and 3 for the first series. So, yeah, I mean, um, again, the links are all in the video link, and um, all of the tutorials are contained in the uh, Arma Open Modders group that I created on the Bohemia forums. Uh, some people have said they had some problems viewing those, but I've mirrored them on Open Daisy as well in the uh, tutorial section. So that should just about cover the first one and then in the next video you'll see uh, coming is uh, public data modding uh, 101 and then public data modding 102 which are basically just introductions to uh, modding specific uh, you know but the Bohemia sample models. Uh, it just gives uh, again pretty simple uh, breakdowns of uh, what's involved in doing that. So uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.